much uh, for the invitation to come down here uh, and uh, uh, talk a little bit about my book, uh, not just about my book. I thought I would uh, uh, try to use this today, occasion today to talk a little more broadly about uh, what's happening in politics right now, or at least what I see uh, happening. Uh, this book came out in, uh, uh, in May, and it was uh, an education, education all along, writing, learning how to uh, write in a different format uh, and uh, learning to think historically as opposed to journalistically, which is what I'm used to. But one of the things that was an education was learning how to market and publicize a book. Uh, uh, it, I don't know how many of you have ever written a book, but if you have, uh, you go anywhere. If anybody wants to talk, uh, wants to hear you talk, you accept, you take it. Uh, and. Uh, I've learned that there's sort of high-end venues and low-end venues, uh, and the high-end venues are uh, are more prestigious. I'm talking about like the I went on the Charlie Rose show and I went on the Washington Week uh, program. Uh, but if you're trying to sell books, the the low-end venues uh, are more important. Uh, one of the things I learned how to do while publicizing this book is uh, uh, leak an item to the Drudge Report. Uh, 20 years in this business, I never knew how to leak an item to the Drudge Report. Uh, now I know, I did, through sources, uh, and watch my Amazon ratings go from, I was number 9,000 at the start of the day, uh, and finished the day at number nine. Uh, so that's not bad. Uh, incidentally, George, uh, the Miller Center is most emphatically a high-end venue. <laughs> Just wanted to clarify that <laughs> in case there was uh, any doubt about that. The low-end venues sometimes are the tougher, uh, the, the, the tougher formats to answer. The one I'm thinking of in particular, uh, I'm not a fan. Maybe some of you are. A lot of people are. I'm not a fan of uh, Don Imus, uh, the Imus in the Morning program. Uh, but that guy sells books, and you'll do anything to get on that show, I'm told. Uh, and so, uh, so I did. Uh, but since I'm not really a listener, I was not fully prepared uh, uh, for what I was in for, uh, and uh, it was a hard interview. It's a radio show, of course. I'm in the, uh, I think I'm literally in my bathrobe in the kitchen, and he's, you know, talking on the phone to him up in New York. Uh, and the interview didn't start well. He said, why the hell would anyone want to read another book about Bill Clinton? <laughs> and I sputtered uh, uh, and stammered out an answer that wasn't terribly good. Uh, and uh, you know, I was later talking with a friend. They should have said, I miss, read this book and you will learn new details about Bill Clinton's sex life that you've never heard before. And that would have been a perfect answer. Incidentally, uh, I have to say, it would, wouldn't be uh, uh, entirely untrue. There is a little of that in this book. That's not principally uh, what this book is about. Uh, uh, Imus wouldn't have been the appropriate form uh, for me to answer this question, but I, I will here uh, tell you, you know, why uh, I wrote this book. Uh, I covered Bill Clinton's presidency from 1995 uh, to the, the end of it in January of 2001. And I felt as a reporter, I knew the story of this president and his presidency uh, really better than, than most people. I had just been hanging around watching for a long time. And uh, I also, uh, so the idea of writing about him historically intrigued me. Um, and I also began the project with uh, uh, a very acute sense of the perishability of history. Uh, and this is, I think, particularly appropriate here at the Miller Center, uh, which does so much to record uh, uh, presidential history, record the memories of people who are involved in important events. Uh, uh, I thought the time was now, when I started in, in early 2002, to take advantage of the fact that lots of people had really interesting memories that they were willing to share uh, 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 in ways that they wouldn't have been willing while the presidency was still underway. Most of the people uh, who were important in Bill Clinton's administration, uh, you know, weren't then, aren't now elderly people. Uh, you know, they, most of them, a lot of them started out young and are now uh, kind of more middle-aged. Uh, but even younger people, uh, and I was struck by this time and time again as I was doing my research, uh, even with younger people, human memory is a very fallible thing. Uh, uh, 
uh, I'd be having interviews and I'd say, tell me about uh, how uh, this decision was made. And uh, I'd find people uh, going over sort of well-polished anecdotes that a lot of times, quite unintentionally, bear only the slightest re resemblance to what I knew actually had happened.